Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike with GriddleKing.com and today I wanted to show you and introduce and unbox a brand new product from Blackstone. And this is their newest in a series that's going to be electric griddles. Now what makes this different is Blackstone has come out with a griddle that is now recommended to be used indoors or outdoors. And if you look at Blackstone's website, they say, this 22 inch and the 17 inch travel size griddles that they have are not recommended to be used indoors. Now the reason for that is going to be propane, combustion, gases, grease, those things are having an impact on whether or not it would be considered safe or not to use your Blackstone griddle indoors. Now on my website, griddleking.com, the number one article I have is answering the question for people, can I use my Blackstone griddle indoors? And previously that article read, Essentially, no, based on the reasons Blackstone gave, with some other options like using it in a garage or a well-ventilated area. But at the end of the day, Blackstone has heard people's requests. They understand there's a demand for using your griddle indoors and not some Martha Stewart style indoor electric griddle, but an actual Blackstone product. So let's open it up, let's take a look, and we'll see. So let's bring this up. And on here, the actual heating element, and then that, when the cooking goes on top, they'll go together. But, in the words of my wife, you better read the instructions. In the words of me, well, I'm gonna read them today. All right, so setup, as you can see, looks pretty straightforward. There's not many moving pieces, and I'm not a big instructions guy. So let's do this. All right, there is some tape here on the heat dial. So I will pull that off. And then we have the cooking surface. Let me get that plastic off so that doesn't melt on the first use. Ah, okay, if you look, there's lips right there. And they're on both sides. So they actually go into these right here. And so you will slide those in. And then it lays down. Cool. All right. So that would be how the griddle comes from the factory. It's got a little sticker on here, which is super annoying because you're just gonna have to scrape it off. Now, if you're involved in the griddle game at all, and you're involved in the, the griddle nation movement, as I like to call it, you'll know that most Blackstone griddles don't come with a hood. And a hood is recommended for most people's usage for a lot of reasons. One being it's great for heat convection. You know, you keep your heat isolated in one area. I do a lot of camping with my Adventure 17 um, out here in Northern Colorado. It's very cold. And so on a cold morning, yes, the surface is hot and cooking your food, but all that ambient cold air, the loss of all the heat from not having a hood, it really slows down cooking and can make it a little challenging. So generally what we've done is either A, we use a hood, um, that you can purchase aftermarket or from Blackstone, or we've made little covers with tin foil just to trap the heat inside and keep cooking. But with this new E-Series, one of the best things they did was include a griddle. I mean, a hood, excuse me. Now, the reason this is nice is what I just talked about. So it, it prevents, or it helps you keep your heat inside and, and make cooking just a little bit easier. 
but it protects the carrying case or cover you have over your griddle from the actual disgusting griddle surface. Even if it's clean, it's still warm, oily, um, and constantly putting your cover on and off without an actual hood um, can make the inside of the cover disgusting, as well as you wanna protect your griddle from the elements. So with this, you've got a separated handle that you can use even when the griddle's hot. It's got a see-through lid, which I think is awesome because you can watch your food cook without having to constantly lift up your hood and lose heat and kind of that thermoregulation is kind of up and down. So with this hood, we're in a better spot. Boom. Oh, I love it. All right. So that just went on like that. It's got little hinges in the back, just goes right in and it's removable. So you can take it in, you can take it out. And as you see here on the back, what do they have? Blackstone's proprietary rear grease trap design. I'm sure the grease catcher is actually going to be in this box. So let's take a look. And so the hood goes up, it can stay up like that, or you can actually take the hood all the way off. So you kind of have some options there. It's very easy to pop it on and off. And it's gonna make, it's gonna make cooking out in the field much, much easier. All right. So, we got here our cord. That is going to be necessary because it's an electric griddle. I will go ahead and plug this into the back. I don't know if y'all can see it. All right. And then the only other thing in this box is going to be, like we said, Blackstone's grease, grease trap system. Now, if you compare this to, say, a 20, you know, a Tabletop 22 or a Blackstone Adventure 17, there is a different shape tray. And I am a big fan of using the 10 liners that you can just drop in, grease runs in, you pull it out and throw it away, this thing is still clean. So someone will need to come out with, if they haven't already, a proprietary designed grease trap that fits this new shape of the, uh, the new Blackstone grease trap. So let's pop that bad boy on. And so this is a little bit different. It's got these two little hooks. Might be able to see it yeah, right there. And they go on to two little indents right there. So that, as you can see, covers that. All right. Now I gotta take off this stupid thing they put on. Hopefully it doesn't leave a, please don't leave a giant stain on here. Thank you, Blackstone. I really didn't want to have to rub off get adhesive sticky remover. So thank you for using whatever this crap is. All right, very important part of owning a E-Series from Blackstone. Blackstone is known for making cold rolled, basically cast iron seasoned style cooking surface. That requires a seasoning process before you ever cook. Now this, Hold on, they put it on Instagram this morning. All right, so somebody asked on Instagram this morning if you need to season this one, and Blackstone responded. And here's what they said. They said the 234 square inch griddle top is made of cast aluminum and a custom non-stick ceramic titanium surface, meaning there's no need to season the griddle surface and clean up is a breeze. Less oil or butter is required, making it healthier. And to not use metal utensils on the griddle to use rather instead nylon, silicone, or heat resistant plastic. So what does that mean? That means that this will not be going through a traditional Blackstone seasoning process. It means clean it off, use a thin layer of nonstick, whether that be a spray nonstick, a butter, or oil, whatever you choose to use, and then your utensils do not use your standard Blackstone metallic spatulas that come with these griddles or your scraper. 
Instead, use something that is going to be non-abrasive or not scratch up your ceramic coating here. Something like a plastic spatula would work great, but again, don't use your traditional metal spatulas. All right, so I'm gonna shut up and turn this thing on. So I just got some soapy water here. I'm gonna give this a little once over. Oh yeah. All right, let's see. Boom, shaka, laka. All right, so it looks like it's got a base temp of 200. So you're not gonna go below 200. There won't be like a 160 reheat or anything like that. So instead we've got 200 digitally controlled up to 500. So that's quite hot. So for this first go, let's just do 350. I don't know if that's it or not. Ah, that's it. So once you turn your dial to your designated temperature you want, you hit the power button again and it'll actually set that temperature you're looking for. All right, well, I can already feel that warming up. I am not. Cool. All right, guys, there it is. So that is the Blackstone unboxing, unboxing and seasoning, if you want to say seasoning, and how we set it up. Um, these are available for just 100 bucks at Walmart. That's super cheap. This is something I can take with us camping. Yes, it's electric, but I use generators or a Jackery or something I can plug it into. And I'm actually gonna hook it up to my Jackery soon and see how long it can run on that. Um, or if it doesn't work, I still have my Adventure 17, which runs on propane and is awesome for camping. So that's it guys. I hope this was worth your time. I appreciate you watching. New channel, so I would appreciate if you guys would hit the like button and or subscribe if you're into cooking on your blacktop griddle or you want to know things about all things griddle, check out griddleking.com. I will link it below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.